This is KMTV 3 News Now, live at 6. Scenes like we saw this past weekend in El Paso and Dayton are a stark reminder that during an emergency, every moment counts. And while we hope they never happen here, one school district is getting prepared. Good evening, I'm Jennifer Griswold. New technology from Fremont Public Schools has the potential to save lives in dangerous situations. Ruta Olsenida has more on the radio system that's bringing communication between school districts and first responders to the forefront. Fremont Public Schools, how can I help you? In an emergency situation, it is not uncommon for phone lines to get overwhelmed and shut down. In a dire emergency situation, cell phone towers can only handle so many simultaneous calls at one time. This entire cell phone tower system around here would shut down in an emergency, everybody getting on their cell phones. Leaving people stranded and helpless. Communication is key. That's why Fremont schools want to make sure that that never happens. Thanks to a number of generous grants, they now have a more efficient way of communication, a radio system. It's a two-way communication system. What we've done is created a system that hopefully we never have to, but if we do, we can communicate with all of our key staff, with Fremont Public Schools, also at Trinity, also, also at Bergen, to be able to communicate and provide services to the community um, for Fremont Public Schools or the other school districts and, and communicate with emergency responders if needed. In an emergency situation, I would be able to speak into the radio and let surrounding schools and dispatch know that I need help and let others know to stay safe. Just last year, Fremont High School had an incident where someone was thought to have had a gun during after school hours. The school is just thankful that the event didn't happen during peak school hours. Had that been in the middle of the day, 1.30 in the afternoon, let's say, or 10.30 in the morning, and we'd gone into a lockdown situation, cell phone towers would have blown up around here. Not only from our students, probably calling mom and dad, calling their guardians, whoever, but also the community responding back. The radio system will also aid in everyday communication and during natural disasters, like the flooding that Fremont remembers all too well. We were on spring break though. Had we been in session, uh, Washington Elementary is in the southern part of Fremont, it would have been completely evacuated. There again, our cell phones might not have been able to be in use, radio communication would have been perfect. According to school officials, Fremont is now a safer and more forward-thinking school system and city. In my prior experience is I worked for the Nebraska State Patrol for 30 years, and anytime you can improve radio communications, you're way, way ahead. Reporting in Fremont, Rudolf Sinaida, 3 News Now. Radios will be placed inside schools, classrooms, and offices connecting the entire city. There is ongoing training for the communication system for staff and administrators, and it should be all set to go when the school year begins.